Well, welcome back, everybody. We are back working on the camper today. Not camping, even though we want to be camping. Got the kitchen to this point last time, and today we need to start working on some more stuff on the inside. We got the demolition crew in here right now, and we're trying to keep them from destroying everything. But uh, they're, they're pretty good at demolition, not very good at construction. But we've got to work on Finishing out the ceiling is one thing. We need to do the flooring. We got some trim work. Um, this is all got to get covered up one way or another, and I've got a plan for that. So that's what I'm going to work on first today is getting some of this covered up. We've got some fabric, and I'm just going to take fabric and some spray adhesive and spray this with adhesive, form fabric up here to cover all these curves and cover up all this metal. That's the best way I've been able to think to finish out areas like that just because it's so weird and they're just odd angles it's really hard to form wood around it so we're going to use fabric but we're going to use the same fabric so a while back like a year year and a half ago i don't know a while back we started building the foam inserts to insulate the windows we're making panels well we finally got around to getting all of our fabric for that so we're actually going to start working on that as well and sarah's going to sew up the panel so they're going to be black on the outside so when it just looks like black windows when you look at the camper from the outside and then we've got some more decorative fabric for the inside so we've got this window on the kitchen i need to get a piece of foam cut for we've already got the piece cut for all these we just need to sew covers so we're going to try to get all of our pieces cut out of our fabric for the windows before i start cutting odd trim pieces out and hopefully we'll be able to use our fabric more efficiently that way so first thing I've got a roll of foam right here and I need to get a piece of foam cut for this window to go in the insert to insulate. So let's start there. So I've got my fabric here. I cut the pieces Sarah need roughly for the window covers out of this. And now I've got the scrap pieces and stuff. And I'm gonna start putting that up on these pillars and columns. First though, I gotta put a board right here. Right here is where a light switch is gonna go. Um, just like this one down here, put a light switch right in here. So I'm gonna cut a board to kind of fit and screw onto here. Uh, just to give me a nice spot to mount that um, light switch later on. And then I'll just cover all that up with fabric all down through here. And I think I'll probably pull the, um, the door trim off. So I'll just pull this off and then I'll work my fabric all the way to the edge and then trim it off. And then I'll put this back over the fabric. So it'll be all the way underneath all that and just cover all that up. Um, we're gonna run some across the top. We've still got more to do of the wood. I've got probably one more plank to run. Sorry, the light is very blinding right there. Uh, we've got one more plank to run down through here. And then I'll probably just switch to fabric on this part over here. One more plank is gonna basically bring it right down to the wood. And I think I'm gonna use a trim piece to kind of mesh the um, ceiling into the wall here. I won't be able to use a quarter round, but I'll find something similar to like a quarter round and um, just trim that out to the ceiling and then paint it to match the wall. Same thing over on this side. And then over here, again, we've got a portion of a column to cover and you get a board across this. So part of that's going to be capped off and then I've got to cover this whole thing, but I'm going to probably do that with a board. Um, just take a piece of plywood. It's fairly flat and just cover that whole thing. I may have to trim out the edges a little bit, but got the a pillars up here as well same thing fabric on those so let's get this board cut and get our hole in it for the light switch which i've actually got to replace because this one's broken and uh we'll go from there
I got this whole piece cut out just like I was planning. Now that I got it done, I don't like how it looks. I just don't like the way this edge is going to be with my fabric coming down. Just, I'm not happy with it. So I'm not going to use it, at least not for now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just mount this light switch directly. I can screw it directly into the metal on the bottom there. I've got a, a deep enough pocket to hide all my wires as it is. So I'm just going to make it work. I may, I may get a piece of thin metal and cover this edge to box it in a little bit better, but I'm going to make something different work. I don't like the plywood. I don't like how far it sticks out. So I'm going to do something different. So I guess we're moving on with the fabric now. See how that works. So I'm just going to pull this off as much as I can out of my way. Some places I can't actually get it off anymore, um, but I'm just going to pull it down out of my way as best I can so that I can run my fabric all the way down and then match the edges up together really good there. So, right, about like that. All right, that ought to do it. I'm just gonna take a microfiber rag now and wipe off, just wipe any dust off this. It's not super dirty, it should stick to it pretty good. The adhesive should, but I'm just gonna run it over it all and wipe any loose dust off from recent work, anything like that. All right, now that I got that, Kind of dust it off. I'm going to take a piece of my fabric here and just figure out approximately how much I need on this and then I'll put it up and then I'll just trim it on the edges. We'll see how this works. I've got some spray adhesive here, Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. Shake can well before using, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we will take this and I've got a piece of cardboard. I'm just gonna kinda use it to help block over spray. And I'm just gonna hit this. And then I've got a, I've got a little, putty type knife here and I'm going to use that to kind of push and form this along my hands just form it into kind of the shape of all this it doesn't have to be 100% in contact with it all the way just as long as it's pretty decent and looks decent I'm just trying to conceal this and make it look better nothing nothing real fancy just pretty simple All right, I don't know how fast this adhesive dries, so I was trying to go pretty quick there. It's certainly not perfectly smooth. That's kind of why I went with black. Black hides a lot of imperfections. So there's a few wrinkles in it. I don't know if you can see that there, but um, I'm gonna trim the edges. I don't know how long this stuff takes to dry, but I'm gonna just kind of keep, make sure it stays put. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edges off. Scissors are working okay, but I'm gonna try a 
razor knife here and just see if that might trim this edge a little bit better. That was a little bit faster, uh, a little bit cleaner. This side's a little bit more jaggedy with the scissors cut. But either way, when you put the um, vehicle molding, door molding back on there, it's super clean and it's gonna look good. I think this is gonna work. Um, I'm just going to kind of piece it together across over the top of these doors and then the ceiling will come down and overlap with that. So we'll just keep going with this and uh, see how far we get. lights on in here it's looking pretty good I mean it's not like completely perfect but I'm super happy with it we'll see how long how well it sticks and stays but so far I mean it's looking and you can't it just looks so much better from this to just nice black all looks even you can't see the chunks of foam I guess I need to do one more piece right across here a little bit potentially to cover this up this will mostly be covered had it covered by a uh, trim board here. So this goes right here. And I gotta kinda rework this a little bit, but I may go ahead and trim out in black that edge. Um, that or I may, well, I can't bring the board down much more. Probably gonna trim it out about like that. I may do a longer board to reach all the way over. Well, I probably will, cause I gotta bring so essentially these gotta go over here. This will kind of go like that, and that'll bring it down to the black and match it up. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. And I'll probably put one more little piece of fabric uh, across this portion to hide that. But it is looking much, much better. And once I get the ceiling done and tie it all in, the top it's it's gonna look super clean. Really happy with it. 
I didn't know if that idea would work. And there are a few seams that you can kind of see, but it's a camper. It's going to work just fine. I'm happy with it. So much, much better than just seeing bare metal or trying to spend hours and hours forming wood to that would have been next to impossible. Very, very difficult. So I'm happy with it. I think I'm going to work on some more of the ceiling, try to get my last row of ceiling boards on next. I'm super excited about that. I love seeing things actually get finished. I'm about to finish up the ceiling, I think. <sighs> All right. I'm going to start working on the ceiling now. It's completely dark. Had supper and now it's dark. I got the diesel heater running. So it's toasty and warm in here, cold outside. I got my planks back out. This is the stuff we used on the ceiling. It's just a fake reclaimed wood plank you can get down at, you know, your hardware store. So I'm going to go back to work. Try to get my last row. I've got one row on each side to get put up. And I'm using uh, some liquid nails. A little bit I may use a few of these self tapper screws to go into the metal I'd put these wood strips down if you watch the original ceiling part you already know this but I put wood strips down across the cross pieces metal cross pieces um, but we're getting down to the edge of that so some of these spots I've got to attach straight to the metal and um, so I'm, I'm gonna use a combination of this and I may put a few screws in it. So far, I've been able to avoid it. There's no screws visible. I've got some little nails that you can't hardly see, but uh, I may have to use a few screws on this edge just cause it's, it's coming down, it's curving. I gotta kind of make the boards conform to the shape I want. And you can't really do that with the glue cause it doesn't set up fast enough. So we'll see what happens. Let's get this done.
the ceiling is officially done. Completely done. I uh, do have some trim to do. This side's got a little bit of a gap between the wall and the ceiling. This side turned out almost perfect. It really doesn't need a piece of trim, but I'm probably gonna do a piece of trim along here and along here to make them match, if I can make that look good. This ceiling is so, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but you can see this curve right here to get molding to follow along here is gonna be interesting. I don't know, it may look horrible, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to clean that edge up a little bit. I'm, I'm happy with it, I'm 90% happy with it. There's just a few odds and ends that didn't work out quite like I wanted, but overall it's it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm, I am content. I'll just try to do a little bit of trim work. Um, it's looking good where I put all that fabric. Covered it all up, looking super clean. It really looks good. So I am happy. Now we just need to do a panel for that door to cover that up. We've got to make doors for that storage compartment. I gotta put a face on that, paint it. Probably need to do a little bit of stuff on top and paint that top piece, top area of that as well where the bed goes. I need to paint the bed as well. There's a bunk that goes right there and suspends from strings off the roof. Um, I got to put that back on, but I'm going to try to get that face put on there. So I'm going to put a face on that, probably plywood, and then I'm going to have two doors in it that slide to opposite sides. So they will be built in sliding doors so we can close off that compartment. So I got to get that piece, those doors made, the top piece, this door covered. And then we'll pretty much be down to the floor as far as the inside of the camper is concerned. I've got the flooring. Um, so hopefully I can get those pieces and the floor next. I do need to work on these two doors a little bit. They do not have any insulation. This is the only thing, once we get the window panels made, this is the only spot on this whole camper that will not have insulation. We've got, we'll have insulating panels on all the windows. Everything is spray foam, floor, walls, ceiling, um, all that side, the doors, all back behind these compartments, everything spray foam, in case you didn't see that in the early build videos, except these doors. These are factory door panels. And what I want to do on these, I need to find a front door and a rear door that have, what I want to do is switch these windows to manual crank. I don't want to bother with the electric. I want to switch them to manual crank. And the only way I know of to get a manual crank on these is if I can find a probably a three quarter ton crew cab work truck that had the hand crank front and rear door. I think this panel will be the same as on a crew cab truck. I don't know that for sure, but I think it will be the same. I hope it will. I'm going to try to find one switch it out to manual windows on both of these so we can roll these with two windows up and down if we want. If I can't get it on this door, I'll at least do it on that door so we can roll that window up and down. But hopefully both of them. I just, those trucks are not very common. Most have electric and it's only, I am almost sure. Well, there there would be a half ton. Could be a half ton, three quarter ton or one ton. Crew cab work truck that would have the manual door cranks in them. That I, That's what I need to find. But that's a project for another day. I think I'm going to call it a day. And hopefully next time we'll be wrapping this stuff up over here and putting in flooring. That is my goal. Unless we decide to go camping, then we might not get it done. We'll see. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share. If you like the video, find it interesting, think other people might find it interesting. I'm having fun over here, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.